at this point, we're so far out. We're so far gone. I, I'm with Pauly. They they got their trilogy. Um, this the Snyder verse is still infecting Warner Brothers going forward. It's part of the problem with the Flash, right? Um, the only true successes they've had out of this are Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Other than that, even all the sequels have failed. Um. I don't see Wonder Aquaman 2 doing nearly the same kind of numbers as Aquaman 1. Oh no. Uh even without with or without uh, Amber being a part of the mix. So like at this point, let it go. Like Polly's right. I think he, it's time to just kind of let it go. I don't think Ben Affleck really wants to come back. Henry Cavill has kind of moved on already. Uh you can continue to make a couple more Wonder Woman movies and maybe another Aquaman movie, but other than that, who really cares? Uh, the next year or so is just going to be trash until we get up to like Blue Beetle and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm, I'm curious what you guys think about this, and I'm sure that needs to be semi-translated. So Okay. Uh, so I've always been honest about the whole Snyderverse. Like I said, cool, they got their, the thing. I like the, the Snyder cuts better than the Justice version, but still it's like, it went from being a bad movie to a man movie, you know? And, like, I feel it's now, like, a dead horse. They keep beating it. When it, when it's, like, nothing is really going to come out of it. It's just going to be... It's, we, you got what you wanted, but I don't see more coming out of it anyway. Because it's not going to make money. That's how I see it. It's not going to make money. Right. And all that's really left is the air cut and, and script doctor who worked on that movie said that people are going to be disappointed by how different they think that cut is. <laughs> right. It's actually the opposite. I got, I've had some inside juice on that one for a while from one of our directors. It's friends. not. Yeah, exactly. It's not what people think Tom. it is. Right. Polly. Like, I mean, from what I've heard too, is the same thing. Yeah. There's some extra Joker stuff in it, but there was a reason they recut that movie twice. <laughs> like, yeah. People forget yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, script people was think that, that right? every every director's cut is like the same thing, like it's the greatest cut. And we're, oh, we're, 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 you know, script doctor actually worked in the prop department, believe it or not, on yep. that movie. <laughs> well, one of our uh, director friends who's been on the the big the big show, he he uh, he had some interesting things to say as well, and you know, I mean, about... I'm sure the Snyder fans might like it better because I'm sure it's a darker, dour movie compared mm. to the one we got. Mm. in that respect mm -hmm. but most people universally rejected that version of joker like i don't know anybody oh. who liked the jared leto joker so like that's what you're asking for is more of that right <laughs> i don't Speaking get it you know and and real fast and I think diego hasn't had a chance to chime in either but yeah yeah ahead, i know sorry, i know i wanted to get this in here uh because because you're here tom and we've been covering this since uh sholo was uh in consideration for the role Deleted scenes is like I'm gonna give Blue Beetle a chance, and that's it. Um, as of last night, they just completed filming Blue Beetle. Nice. nice. Well, uh, and I reminded people that that's kind of Blue Beetle is gonna be kind of the bridge. That and Joker are kind of gonna be the bridge to whatever's new, right? Because from here on out until we get to Blue Beetle and Joker Two, that's all classic regime before Zaslav. So all these movies that are sitting in the can still waiting to come out, including Batgirl, Aquaman 2, Flash, all that stuff. That's all I, stuff that was made before Zasloff even came in the door. My so feeling, when, yeah, my feeling uh, with Blue Beetle is that they left that, they let that creative team, which is, you know, Mexican, Puerto Rican, and then the, the, the cast, they, they're, they're all, they're, they're on their own independently. I was going to say, there's no real reason to attach it mm -hmm. right now to anything else. Like, you don't need it. Well, yeah, and I was thinking too, just because I know, I, I think it'll be a success because of that tight creative group, and um, and because it's so under the radar, you know, like <laughs> all these other ones are so problematic. Well, it, Tom. it has the the it has the ability to be what what could be a perfect storm, right? You have Cholo, Cholo who's just you know he's successful with Cobra Kai. So people know who he is. You know, he, every time we Very talk about, oh, the kid, kid. from Cobra Kai. Yeah, the kid mm -hmm. from Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Blue Beetle is a character that's not well-known, but he's well-known enough, especially with a younger generation where they had a cartoon show, like, a couple years back, right? 
I'm not uh-huh. mistaken. So he's got a, I, I'm sure he's got a little bit of awareness with the younger generation. And if they keep it away from the other stuff and don't, you know, constantly make references to Wonder Woman and Superman and all that kind of stuff, the show probably has a chance of being a fun superhero movie in the vein of like Spider Man, I'm assuming. Or something like Shazam. Shazam, or Shazam well, Spider Man, yeah. more in the kid friendly, but yet, you know, fun superhero light. I have a feeling that's what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. And there's Sholo with the director uh, celebrating. And we showed off the costume already, and most people have said the costume looks pretty good, especially if they picture like the CGI enhancement for the the arms and stuff coming out of his back and whatnot. Well, yeah, there's like they're 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 hitting all the right boxes. Um, you know, their enthusiasm as a creative team for the for the character, their their love for uh, the comic. They're, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, the costume checks off, you know, and, Thank and you to he's all the charming, casting. right? Like he's charming, like Tom Holland in a sense that people oh, will yeah. root for this kid. Yep. I, and he's built, he, over the years, he's built quite the following. Thank you to all the cast and crew who made this possible. I'm so proud of what everyone accomplished and even more proud to call us a family. Thank you to Angel for trusting me to bring Jaime to life. And you can even see down here all the uh, John Hurwitz and Julia Macchio. That's uh, Ralph Macchio's daughter. She was in Cobra Kai. John Hurwitz is one of the creators of Cobra Kai. Yeah. And the, Ralph Macchio's daughter is that hilarious. She played like his cousin or whatever. Yeah, she was great. <laughs> she was great. There's Leslie Grace thanking him. I didn't even I mean, know that was his daughter until after the fact either, too. But yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that either, but um, she was fantastic. Yeah, that but Monkey like, Jeebus, you're right. The normies may not know who Blue Beetle is, but the younger kids probably do. And I mean by yeah. younger kids, probably in that 20, like, ish plus range, because it was what, 1990, late 90s, early 2000s, that cartoon came out? Yeah, and this revamp of the, of the Blue Beetle has been on Batman, the Brave and Bold, Right, uh, has been on Young Justice. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, he's really well known on people that just watch cartoons. That's what I'm saying. I, so add with this mm-hmm. kid, it might right. be a, good, a perfect storm for this movie to be successful. So you never know. Well, cause, and then, like you said, like, you know, you guys have been covering it so much too. Just the flash and all that stuff is so, there's so many problems with someone. So well, tumultuous is one word you could put tumultuous. it. Tumultuous. Aquaman, <laughs> Amber Heard. It's like it might it might be these movies, because because Blue Beetle now and Black Batgirl, they both were not going to have theatrical releases. They both now have theatrical releases. They both have uh, Batgirl, I believe, has received uh, some good feedback from the from the first screenings. I've heard both. Yeah. Okay. Um, You've heard and- both. Okay. Yeah, and the thing with the, that one, I can see them. I, like that one made no sense to be on HBO Max because Michael Keaton's in it. The, the move to, for Blue Beetle to jump up from HBO Max to theatrical release is a bit surprising. See, now that to me, because there's no real incentive for them to do that, right? Mm-hmm. So to me, mm-hmm. that tells me there is some confidence in the film, then, at least on their part. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Also, well, me, uh, congratulations, me. Sholo. And uh, we have been uh, following Sholo for a while, and... We, hope we willed best. that into existence. We <laughs> did. Now we're gonna. We have to wield uh, Sholo playing a uh, La Bamba or something. We gotta figure that yeah. out. Also, I was just wondering. Out, also, I think part of the reason they might have also made um, Blue Beetle into theatricals because if you think about it, Blue Beetle is a character that you can do more merchandise with between toys and other things because he's colorful and bright. Mm-hmm. Right. Then, for example, Batgirl or any other the current superheroes. You may not be wrong with, and that's where I was saying they may have realized there was a bit more, um, like yeah, the normies may not know who he is, the older normies, but I, I think there is a, a a section of a younger generation between the cartoons and his other appearances are aware of this character. Wait, you talking and, about Blue Beetle or Sholo? Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. Right. The, yeah. You know, but Sholo cancels that that's not a problem anymore because it's Sholo who have been who's been who's been cast and Cobra Kai has I mean really the new normies uh, and the older ones are going to go see it for Sholo I believe 
Maybe. I, I mean, I don't know if he's going to. Here's the thing with that, Polly. Like, I think this might be more of a springboard for him, let's say. I mean, it, it's a perfect storm in a sense that Into he's. the movie world, yeah. For yeah, sure. he, he's mm-hmm. well enough known through Cobra Kai. But, like, here's his shot right now to be, like, when Tom Holland played Spider-Man, right? Like, Correct. This is, this is his. Because nobody really knew who the hell Tom Holland was nope. when he played Spider-Man. And, 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 and a lot of people are going to be the same here with this, right? Because there's still a lot of people who have never seen Cobra Kai. But he, he's, uh, he's got enough experience that even if you don't yeah. know who he is from Cobra Kai, I think he'll be able to pull it off for just about any... I don't know, man. Cobra yeah. Kai is such a phenomenon. Oh, it is. But, I mean, there's like, still people who haven't seen it, dude. Not everybody has Netflix. <laughs> clearly, yeah, but clearly... You'd be surprised how many people I talk to who have still not seen it. No, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I, I just think... You know, we we have covered in general what the problem is with Hollywood and and how to properly, uh, you know, do representation of new characters and people of color, blah, 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 blah. You could arguably say that Sholo's character is the way to do it. He was integrated with Johnny within the story and every year oh, you know yeah, like, yeah. it was just so well it's just so fucking well, well i'm talking written, more bro. about where he's at right now like like that's the thing he he's he's been on a successful television show mm-hmm. he's had the experience under his belt mm-hmm. they're giving this movie a shot now on the big screen so that means they're probably going to give it a big screen push so mm-hmm. like i said this this is an opportunity for him I'm not saying he's going to be nearly as big as Tom Holland, or am I saying that this movie's ever going to make as much money as a Spider-Man movie? No. But what no. I am saying is it could be as successful as something like Shazam or a little bit more successful, and it could be that thing that takes Sholo to the next level. It could right? really kick so. some ass. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. This, yeah. You're absolutely at this right. point, it's good having that kind of brighter characters because let's be honest, DC has been in this trend of going overly dark. And if yeah. you follow Batman as a character throughout the ages, he has only been dark from the 90s movies and on. Well, yeah, like the Frank Miller Batman, it all kind of started in, in the 70s and that kind of thing. But like, no, you're, you're 100% right. And I agree, Pablo, and that takes us right back to the Snyder Cut, right? Like that was part of the problem. As much as Zack Snyder could prob- probably understand and do Batman as far as a character, he clearly doesn't get Superman. And I understand a lot of people do enjoy Man of Steel. But to me, as a Superman fan first and foremost, that's not Superman to me. And I, I-, I hate the the whole it's his first day on the job kind of crap and all that kind of stuff. It's- Superman, right? Like, he doesn't have a first day on the job kind of moment. Like, you know, Tom... I'm watching some of these movies like Dark Knight, Dark Dark Knight Rises, Batman, uh, Man of Steel. These movies aren't aging well at all. Well, yeah, I didn't. I, I, I didn't better. like. I didn't like Dark Knight Rises when it came out. And 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 further to to my point of what I was saying about Superman, my biggest problem was is I took uh, at the time the, the the woman I was dating, she had a seven year old, and I had pretty much raised him since he was two. So to me, this was a big deal to be able to take him to a Superman movie. I remember you telling me this. Yeah. And not even 10 minutes into the movie, he was screaming and crying to leave because it was just too scary, too loud. It well, was for all a the, kid like that. It's in the, yeah, film. it was just no. too much. Yeah. And so we came back the next day and I still didn't enjoy the film nearly as much as I was hoping, but it hadn't quite set in until BBS that this was not the way that this should be going. Yeah. And I know you're a big fan of the score. You, you Can you hum a few bars? Boom boom. Boom boom. 